Hello everyone, it's another edition of Victor Sibor Reviews. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning and my day is about to start. And I just want to do this video before I start my day. I'm feeling very positive. Your mornings are special because it is the beginning. It is the beginning. So it is good to start your day well. When you start your day feeling positive, feeling happy, feeling internal peace, being optimistic, the rest of your day is going to be positive and is going to be joyous and is going to be fulfilling. The way you start your day matters. Your mornings are very important. See, your brain is divided into two. You have the positive side and you have the negative side, according to Steve Harvey. Now, the positive side and the negative side are like two factories. They have about a million workers each on each side. And each side has a foreman who leads them. Now, the boss of these two factories is you. You're the boss. You're the one that tells them what they do. You tell them what their schedule is for the day. So when you wake up in the morning and you're like, damn. Oh, my alarm just woke me again. This stupid alarm. Ah, it's another Monday morning. Hustle and bustle. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Ah, It's not going to be a good day today. The negative side foreman will say, boss, you said? You're going to like, I said it's not going to be a good side today. I'm not feeling good. The former will call the 1 million workers in the negative factory. Guys, guys, get to work, get to work. I have the program for today. The boss just gave me the program for today. Today is going to be a negative day. So now everything that our boss sees, give him a negative interpretation. If he sees a beautiful girl, let us interpret to him that that girl is a prostitute. If he sees an opportunity, let us interpret to him that there is... There is a scam somewhere in that opportunity, okay? If he sees a reason to be happy, tell him that it's just his mind playing tricks on him. That this thing is not happiness. It is actually sadness. So that is the program for the day. Now, when you go out there, as you have started your day on a negative note, and your negative foreman in your mental factory has given instruction to the one million workers, all the positivity you see, your negativity will overshadow it you will see the bad side of every good thing throughout the day you are going to end your day frustrated and unhappy but if you wake up in the morning and you're like wow thank god i saw another day it's going to be a great day the positive factory former will say boss you said he's going to say I said it's going to be a good day. Hey, you guys, guys, come over. The boss just spoke. He said it's going to be a good day. Okay? So even when the boss sees something negative, let him see the positive side of it. Let positivity be around him. Let him be happy. Let him find a reason to be happy. Let him just, let us lift off his spirit today. Let him always find positivity. Let's keep tox toxic people away from him. Let's keep him out of toxic situations. See, it's all in your head. You know, we are more influenced by how we see things than the way things are actually how you see things is even more important than the way things are actually okay that's why you see there are so many people who are poor they don't have money they have not eaten since yesterday yet they are happy happiness is a choice you can be rich you can have all the good things of of life and yet you're not happy you can be in a good situation and yet you're not happy. And someone in a worse situation could be happy. Okay? I remember a story. I remember a story. My dad once told me when I was a kid. A man who, um, who had his last uh, loaf of bread. That was all he had. And he, he told himself, boy, oh boy, I'm going to eat this loaf of bread. Then go to uh go into the bush, look for a good tree, then hang myself. That was his plan for the day. 
So he took the loaf of bread, took the rope with which he wanted to hang himself, walked into the bush, climbed on top of a tree, secured the rope to the tree and the other noose to his neck and he decided to eat the bread on top of the tree. He was ready for suicide. Now he ate the bread and the bread was remaining some little crumbs. He dropped the crumbs on the floor from the top of the tree and he was getting ready to commit suicide. While on top of the tree, a dirty, rugged-looking man was walking past, saw the tiny crumbs of bread, picked them up and was like, Thank God. Ah, it's a good day. I could find crumbs of bread to eat. Ah, may God's name be praised today. Let me eat a little and take some home for my wife and children. I know, I know my son Michael will be hungry now. Let me leave these little crumbs for him. Me, I'll eat this one. I'll give this one to my wife. I'll give this one to my daughter. And my son will eat this one. Ah, God has settled us today. No need for me to go where I'm going again. Let me just turn around and go back. The man turned around and went back. Running home joyfully. My guy on top of the tree that wanted to hang himself was like, Jesus Christ, I ate the loaf. I threw away the crumbs. I was about committing suicide. This man picked up crumbs and he was happy. He doesn't even want to finish it himself. He wants to take some home to his family. Now I'm a bachelor. I saw a loaf to eat. If that man has hope, I have plenty hopes. In fact, my name is Hope. That was how he did not commit suicide. The purpose of this video is not to tell you to be looking behind at those that you are better than. No, that will not motivate you. But when you want to feel down, when you want to feel depressed, count your blessings. Now, let that set the tone for your day today. And let me see in the comment section below what you feel about this video. Share this video with whoever is down and depressed. Tell them when there is life, there is hope. God kept you alive for a purpose. That's because he has some plans for you. If God was done with you, trust me, you would be dead by now. Till I see you next time. It's bye for now.